Hi guys, welcome along back to the channel. We've got Dave on uh, over here on our Zoom call. Fan cam number two. Um, Dave leads one, Barnes and Hill. And you said in your, vid your interview the other day against Wigan that it seemed to be a bit of deja vu with the set. We were bringing up the same situation, same questions. Tonight, I believe, a lot different, wasn't it? Very, very unlucky tonight. And I think that's what makes it even more gutting that we came out losing that game 1 0 to an own goal as well. Um, to be honest, I was expecting an absolute drumming tonight. Yeah. Um, I, th I think most people were from what I saw on social media. And I think I would have preferred that, uh, you know, being just pipped out 1 0 like that. It was absolutely heartbreaking. Mm. That second half, I mean, we've absolutely. We've dominated. I've not seen a more dominant um, 45 minutes from any team for a long, long time. And we were just lacking in that striker. If we'd have had a striker tonight, we win. And we win quite comfortably. Yeah, somebody who can finish. Um, that's been a problem, hasn't it? I mean, we've we questioned defensively. Defensively tonight, I thought we were brilliant. Anderson, Solbauer, even though he's, he's scored that own goal, very unlucky but as well. But Anderson, Solbauer, you know, defensively, it's just that that area tonight. And, you know, clear-cut chances, it, it begs the question, how many more do we need? How close to goal do we have to be before we do put it in? Well, like you said about the defence, um, there was a few things in the first half. Um, Anderson, I think he made a he made a mistake. Then he he, he got back and put out for a corner. I think it was. Mm. Um, apart from that, it's been it's been pretty solid. I still don't know why he's playing Jordan Williams at left back. He's out of position. Mm. Um, what Clark does done to not justify being started or only getting ten minutes tonight, I don't know. But mm. the defence has been you know pretty solid. Um, second half they weren't needed were they I mean it was mm. it was all it was all Barnsley second half yeah and um, yeah it's just it's just us we just we have that possession uh, I looked at the stats today on, on Sky Sports and you know we're in the top four in possession I think it was possession um, passes in the final third attempts on goal 24th in conversion rate and it, that says it all it, yeah. it, we, have, we haven't got the striker Jacob Brown it, He's not a striker. He's not a striker. Mm. Woodrow's missed some good chances tonight. He's obviously very long confidence, like we said after the, after the Luton game. And <sighs> Chaplin's trying his hardest. He's had that one shot that's just clipped the post. But we need someone. We need someone. We need, um, I don't want to say his name, but um, that guy that went to Sheffield Wednesday a couple of years ago. We need that sort of player in the box that could just finish. Mm. We haven't got that. And it's, it's to restrict our season. Mm. I 100 percent agree. I mean, even like when Thomas came on, I thought, God, I've never never seen much a more frustrating player than him. But that that the ball he could have played in towards um, Chaplin, I believe that that could have been a chance. I, don't, I think he got stuck in two minds, didn't know whether to shoot or pass it. Styles' chance as well. I mean, Echo's chance has done it, and like you said, we, we're missing that natural goal scorer who can put in not not even. You know, clear cut chances, half chances, and, and and put them in as well. That's what we're missing. Yeah, I mean, it, Thomas has had a, he's, he's had a lot of game time, is he? And the, you know, these, I think you need to find a decent team that can play together and gel. And we've mm. not found that at the back. We found it. And the, mm. you know, the defensive work, the work together. We've had their solid defence now for the last, you know, last four or five games, and they've they've played together over these last four or five games. They've gelled together. Mm. But he's, he's he's still tinkering around in midfield and you know just pushing forward a little bit and there just seems to be no communication there. And, you know, the, the passing, it's you know the, the, the player passes it and the other player's not on the same wavelength as him. He doesn't run for the ball. He just stays where he is, or it's it's overhit and it's it's he's, he's done wonders with defence. I'm gonna give him that. Mm. I'm gonna give Struba that. He's done wonders with defence, but. Apart from that, there's just there's 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 no there's no connectivity between the players to me. It's there's, there's no communication. There's no leadership. There's no one mm. telling people get over there, run over here, do this, do that. It's just go where you want, so to speak. Yeah, there's there's nothing. I mean, the, the, I said the, the final third we got solid. The middle third we're improving, but the final third it just all breaks down. And there's there's mm. just nothing there. We just didn't look like scoring tonight. We had a couple mm. of shots that brushed the post, but apart from that, we it just, I just didn't see a scoring. And it's been the same for the last x amount of games. It's you know we're, we're lacking up front. Mm. We really are lacking. Mm. I mean, we said that didn't we? Even back in August, 
August time when, when more went that we needed two strikers on top of that we never did and ultimately that's come to that's come back to haunt us now the defensive side of things maybe in the first half of the season was the issue we rectified that now and now what's coming back to haunt us is the lack of probably strikers to come off the bench as well not just like said when Woodrow's not really eating the heights like he has done you know he'd have probably come out if we'd have had somebody good half decent enough to, to come on but there just hasn't been that's why he's had to start I was quite um, I was quite concerned at the start of the season when Keith and Moore was still with us because he's had quite a few seasons in the championship and he's never sort of like hit the heights and got the goals that he mm. probably should have done and it was a little bit of a concern to me and then obviously when he went to Wigan it was even more of a concern yeah um, we've not had Corley Woodrow play in the championship so I know he was on loan at Bristol City a couple of seasons ago and um, one of my friends said to me, he said, he's a trier. He's a Tom Bradshaw sort of player. He's a trier, but he's just not championship quality. Mm. And at the start of, start of this season, he, you know, he's, he's knocked in a few goals. And I thought, well, he's, 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 he's proved a few people wrong, but he's just gone off the boil. And he's just, you know, was it mm. nine games that a goal now, is it? Some of that. And like you say, is, you'd, have, you'd have to go back to March time for him. Uh, he's, had, he's had half chances for us, though. I mean, tonight, maybe not necessarily as much. Some of chance have felt at wrong place tonight, once again. And that, that, I've done it a few games. But uh, uh, last one before we go then, David. Do you think Leeds and Bielsa will know that how that they were in a game tonight, that we didn't just fall roll over like we all expected us to do? Oh, absolutely. I've, spoken, I've got quite a few Leeds fans on my Facebook and mm. I've spoken to them tonight. And I've seen other Leeds fans on social media and they're all, you know, glad that the game ended when it did because, you know, the, the, according to, uh, to them, we're the, they're the best, we're the best opposition they've had this season. Mm. And I know we hear that quite regularly with the best a team <laughs> played against. Yeah, but, we know. And they're looking to get results against us. But yeah, they definitely do know. And, they, and I've not seen one Leeds fan tonight that said, ha-ha, or, you know, your shit, or going down. They had full respect for us tonight, and you saw Bielsa's reaction after the final. Obviously, went across the Struber, and he had a few words in his ear. He's been, he's been very respectful there, mm. and I'm I'm very I'm very happy for for Leeds. They deserve to. It's been a long time coming back to the the Premier League, and I think this this season they really deserve it. And Bielsa is a good manager, and I got a lot of respect for him. Mm. All right, then, Dave. Well, thanks for coming on, mate, and I will speak to you um, over social media. I'm sure I will. So. Uh, all right then, guys. Well, that was Dave. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. You Reds.